Hey there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Pritam. In this video, we will be talking to you about how we can customize or change the color scheme of PTC Creo Parametric. Not only that, we also will talk about how we can save the color scheme permanently. We also will see that how you can share it with your other colleague. Let's say you are working in company where um, you want to adopt a certain kind of color scheme and you also want to share it with other colleague or your team members so without ado let's get started okay the first thing we need to do is we need to start ptc creo as you can see here i have already opened the program here you require to click on file then we need to click on option now here the third option is system appearance which actually will help you to change the color scheme so just click on that and from here you have a plethora of option for example you can change your theme so this is the best way i would say you know the easiest one without changing any setting you can simply choose theme but in most of scenario i believe you know i mean every company have their own custom color scheme so um, for majority of us we cannot go with these direct option okay so in that case what we can do uh, we can uh, go to system color and here we need to click on custom okay so when we click on custom here we can see we are actually you know modifying the entire theme now uh, we require to click here on global color and let's expand this graphics now here uh, we can see uh, the different different option like how the geometry will be represented how the datum will be represented like this so what actually we can do uh, we can make necessary changes based on our preferences or the way we want it to be then we can also make changes in other categories for example the data plane the geometry references let's say i want to change the background for that here i think we should have option and here we go here we can see this background option let's say i want to keep it a little bit grays so I can select this and here we go guys we can see um, it immediately also shows us preview so in this way guys we can select the way we want and let's say I want it to be like this now uh, what actually I require to do is I need to click here on export color now here we actually going to save the color scheme in this file having extension of HCL we can give it a name like my custom color now we can save this file at a place where we have sufficient rights or sufficient access to use this file now we already have exported now let's click on ok and let me just close the software so right now we have made the changes but the thing is uh, if i close this I will see that nothing have been saved permanently and the change that we have made was just for that session now as soon as we make restart nothing was saved okay so now let's go back here on file and this time let's click again on option system appearance and this time what uh, we going to do is instead of creating the same we're going to click here on import now let's click on desktop and let's choose this file that we have saved previously and here we go guys we can see the customization that we have made now came back now obviously one would like to avoid this hassle whenever you are opening the new session of ptc creo you have to import it again and again in order to avoid that um what we can do uh, we need to click here on configuration editor now we're going to click here on add and here we require to find a setting which is known as system color file and let's click here on browse from here you require to locate the same system color setting that we have created okay so what i will do uh, i will select the file so the name of the file was my custom color now I'm going to click OK and let me just click on export configuration and now I will click OK. So what basically we did, uh, we added one more entry here in our master configuration file or config.pro. 
so here we can find the setting that we have just applied to our our master configuration file uh, which is the system color file now let me just close this and uh, let me just restart the software again and this time despite we have closed the session the software should able to retain the setting that we have applied and here we go guys we can see from the background color that we still have retained the same color scheme that we have applied so in this way guys we just required to share this my custom color.scl configuration and we can simply import it and we can simply make change in master config.pro and in this way uh, one can retain all the color setting for permanently and same setting can be shared with the entire team so that's all guys from my side in this quick video i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in the next video till then take care and bye bye